Three, two, one. Takeh Mila Fajr Hello and welcome to the 22nd Chicago Irish Film Festival. Virtually, of course. My name is Ferdi Doherty, your virtual MC, so to speak. I know, I'm not Judith Blackburn. I will never be Judith Blackburn, and I don't think anybody can be Judith Blackburn. She asked me to stand in for her this year to introduce you to the 22nd Chicago Irish Film Festival. Ordinarily, we would be sitting at Theatre on the Lake and enjoying the movie watching crowd, but alas, here we are sitting by the fire. And what a lovely setting for this. Thank you, Council General Kevin Byrne and your fabulous husband, Aris, for making this happen here today. Firstly, I would like to recognize our fearless founder and the amazing woman that is Judith Blackburn. She started this festival 22 years ago on the south side of Chicago. She has the unique ability of recognizing amazing talent when it comes to film in Ireland and has brought some of the best and brightest to the Windy City every year. Some have become Oscar winners, others Oscar worthy, but mostly fantastic storytellers. She brings and continues to bring the best films from the land of storytelling. Now, let me tell you how to fest this year. This year's festival is fully online. Here's all you need to know. All feature films, documentaries, short programs, and our 2021 special partner programs will be available to watch anytime starting at 7 p.m. March 4th, 2021, until 11.55 p.m. on March 8th, 2021, unless otherwise noted. Keep in mind, you will only be able to access virtual films within this time frame. Links are good for one use, and once a link is clicked, you will have 72 hours to finish watching. Every film and program in this year's festival has a limited number of screenings available, and some are available only in the Midwest. If you have any questions whatsoever, go to our website, www.chicagoirishfilmfestival.com. Okay, fast on people. I would like to take this opportunity also to thank all of the committee who have worked tirelessly to put this together. Amelda Gallagher, John McEnany, Angela McLaughlin, Aris Byrne, and Edward Galvin. Without you all, this would not have happened. Many, many more people behind the scenes, Mark Bettenhausen, Chris Matuzek, Ayman Hishme, Sam Blackburn. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for the hard work that you put into this. Also, thank you to all of our sponsors and donors. Year after year, you come back and we thank you all for that. Please take a moment on our website and check out the amazing donors and sponsors. They all deserve your patronage this year, especially this year. We want to thank Culture Ireland for their continued support. And most importantly, the government of Ireland and the Immigrant Support Programme. They continue to fund and participate globally, even through this terrible, terrible pandemic. Go to Mira Maida. Now, it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce you to the Irish government's representative here in Chicago, our Consul General, Kevin Byrne. Thanks, Bertie. Kevin, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, now thanks. We can, now we can relax a little bit. We've gone through the, the palaver beforehand, as my mother would say. Um, you're, you've only recently arrived in Chicago. Yeah, not, not six months. Uh, I've seen sunshine and snow, uh, a lot of snow, but uh, it's great to be here. Obviously, great to be here. Good, good. And you're enjoying the, uh, the warmth of the people of Chicago virtually, obviously. Exactly, yeah. No, I've done uh, more Zooms, I think, in, in, in the last six months than I ever thought I'd want to do, but it's been great. The, the welcome has been phenomenal uh, from all the Irish organizations, right? Uh, not just in Chicago, but right throughout the Midwest. I uh, have to say, I'm raring to go. I can't wait to be able to, to get out there and actually meet people in person. Uh, I think as Irish people, that's what we want to do, to, to really connect in person. So mm -hmm. looking forward to that. Good, good. 
So you were you had a big task uh, this year. Um, you were tasked with picking the winners of the Consulate Award. Did you enjoy the movies? Yeah, they were fantastic. Look, it, it's something I didn't know I got the chance to, to do. Uh, when I got an email from Judith saying, you have to watch some movies and tell us which one you liked, I thought that's something I can definitely do. I've got very good at watching movies uh, <laughs> over this pandemic. Um, but look, they were phenomenal. I, I think uh, you know, to see the talent coming out of Ireland uh, was just phenomenal. Uh, and the movies I was given were uh, not just I suppose, live action, but uh, there was also animation there as well. And I think the animation we've seen come out of Ireland in particular, I know uh, later on this month we have Wolf Walkers uh, yeah. possibly <clears> to <throat> fantastic Oscar. Uh, it's just phenomenal and phenomenal to see. Mm -hmm. Good, good. So to get to it, as they say, um, the Council of, of Ireland Award 2021 nominees are? Yeah, they were uh, An Irish Underdog Story, At Heart and Soul, Fisherman, Lucky and the Mountain Keg. So let me jump in first and just to make sure people are aware. Uh, Fisherman was Lewis Barefoot, uh, Barefoot and Naria Kim. The Mountain Keg was Justin Stevenson and Jeremy Connors. An Irish underdog story was John Johnny Farley. Uh, At Heart and Soul was Greta Steinberg and Jorinda Weinman. Uh, Lucky was Abigail Collins. Yeah, look, it was really hard uh, to make this choice. Uh, as I said, such a phenomenal range uh, of films and so different right. uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Great stories that you just fall into. Um, one really captured me uh, and that was Lucky. So the, the Consulate Award uh, this year goes to Lucky. It's a phenomenal short film, a beautiful animated feature. Um, I just thought it was great. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So uh, Lucky, uh, Abigail Collins, if you're watching. If not, we will uh, be reaching out. You are the winner of the Council of Award here at the Chicago Irish Film Festival. Congratulations to you and your team. I know there's always a team behind it. Um, and I know how hard it is to pull this off, uh, especially during a pandemic. So congratulations to you and all of the people that worked uh, on Lucky. Thank you so much, Kevin. Um, we also have some uh, wonderful winners this year also. Um, first of all, the Audience Award, uh, while you're watching this virtually, Everyone who is an individual ticket or a pass for this year's Amazing Shorts program uh, will be able to vote for their favorite short. Just click the stars below the film title you want to vote for, submit your vote, and we have all of the results tallied up at the close of the festival. Um, watch our social media pages to find out the 2021 Audience Award winners. Now, some other great awards that I want to uh, um, uh, showcase here tonight, the Festival Award. Uh, these films were chosen from hundreds of submitted films and more than 40 plus official selections by the 2021 uh, Chicago Irish Film Festival jury for outstanding filmmaking. So we, we want to wish you all congratulations on that. Um, how to fall in love in how, how to fall in love during a pandemic. Uh, this was by Michael David McKernan. Uh, he is the winner this year of the festival award. And I'm glad to say that I met uh, Michael last year at the festival here in Chicago. And I believe this is where that story began. So congratulations to him uh, and his, his uh, betrothed, his love, if, if that is still uh, happening. Hopefully it is. Um, and also a, uh, a couple of other uh, people, uh, films that were involved in the festival award also, and we want to mention was Cost You Nothing by Patricia Kelly. Uh, we want a, uh, an honorable mention here for the extraordinary performance by Jack Murphy. Uh, operator, Jonathan Hughes, Ascending Grace, Claire Byrne, and Christy Brandon County. But the festival award goes to uh, Michael David McKiernan for his movie, How to Fall in Love During the Pandemic. Well done. Uh, one Minute Irish Award, the 2021 nominees. Uh, there is something truly remarkable about a film that lasts only a minute, but perfectly captures a moment of national sentiment, advice, reflection, or say, a bright object. Uh, those movies and the nominees are Lockdown Upside Down by Barbara Sores, Back Home by Luca Di Bartola, Morning Murder by Liam Fahey, Sign of the Times by Amy Joyce Hastings, 
And the award goes to Lockside Upside Down, uh, or sorry, excuse me, Lockdown Upside Down by Barbara Suarez. So congratulations to you, Barbara, and your team, and obviously all the people that work in the background, and all the people that you know hold the cameras, hold the sound, uh, and, and the like. So thank you to all of them as well. Uh, our 2021 Special COVID-19 Award, uh, the nominees, one of the unexpected effects of COVID-19 was a worldwide creative response to the pandemic in music, poetry, art, and of course, film. Uh, here are the nominees. Shielding Nico by Maya Campbell. Stay Home, Stay Safe, Stay Sane by Nick Hales. 60 Days of Hell by Sohali Lindheim. The Final Performance by David Williams. Cat by Mark Jackson. And the winner of the 2021 Special COVID-19 Award is Shielding Nico by Maya Campbell. Congratulations to you, Maya, and all of your team uh, for all of the hard work put into uh, your movie. And um, with that, Kevin, we should pop open some champagne or something if we have it, because this is going to be a great show. We've seen some of the movies, but there are magnificent movies this year. And uh, just like every year, it gets better and better and better coming out of Ireland. We hope you enjoy the show. Don't forget to share your Film Fest snaps with our, uh, on our social media platforms. Um, check out our website again for, for links to all of those. And now, as they used to say on Gabe Byrne's show, roll it there, Colette. <laughs>